student welcome to this video this is the continuation of the previous video in uh, lecture from 1 to 3 we already cover up the part from the question in supplementary problem 1.31 to 1.48 of the chapter 1 of the book vector analysis by the ml spigel this will helpful for the student or in the physics honors or the mathematics or who wants to appear the iit jam examination okay so if you do not watch these previous lectures from one to three you must see this picture and in this lecture we want to solve this problem 1.49 to 1.54 okay the 1.49 problem says the position vectors of a point a p and q relative to the origin is given by p vector and q vector respectively Suppose R is the point which divided PQ in the segment by M is to N. So, in the position vector of R given by this and this is the independent of origin. Okay. So, uh, this is point P and this is point Q and the position vector of P is P vector and position of q vector uh, sorry position of q vector is q vector okay this is the origin o this is the origin and there is a point r there is a point r which divided pq as m is to n ratio okay so this pq vector this pq vector is nothing but the q vector minus p vector this is nothing but q vector minus p vector now the p r vector p r vector is nothing but m by m by m plus n into p q vector and this is nothing but m by m plus n p q is the q minus p q is the q vector minus p vector so so the value of or this is the position vector of r we got the pr vector so the value of or or vector is nothing but the op vector op vector plus pr vector what is the value of op vector this is p vector what is the value of pr vector this is we got m by m plus n that into q vector minus p vector so if we common this p a from this to you get 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus m by m plus n and this is m by m plus n into q vector right so this is uh, nothing but the m plus n minus m that is n by m plus n and this is m q vector by m plus n so in this two together you can see this is m plus n this is n p vector plus m q vector so we got this relation uh, this is the r vector this is the r vector r vector is nothing but the position vector over r point so r vector is n uh, n p vector plus n q vector m p vector plus n q vector p q is segment by m n so this is will be must be n p n p this is uh, this is correct if this p q segment in the m is to n then the position vector r must be this this is the uh, actual formula we need to prove this is there is an error this will be m n and this will be m okay so this is the problem uh, solution of this problem next a quadrature a b c d uh, masses m uh, 1 2 3 4 you need located at the vertex a point b point c point d point find the coordinate of the centroid the coordinate the coordinate the coordinates of centroid the coordinate of centroid the coordinate of centroid will be uh, for x axis the minus 1 and the mass is 1 then there is 3 the mass is 2 there is 1 mass is 3 there is 3 mass is 4 by total mass total mass is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 comma second is y y is minus 2 into 1 this is 2 into 2 this is minus 2 into 3 this is 1 into 4 1 into 4 and in the 
by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is nothing but the 10 and then uh, in the z this is 2 into 1 this is minus 1 into 2 this is 4 into 3 and this is 2 into 4 this is 2 into 4 by by this total is 10 so this is nothing but the minus 1 and uh, this is 20 by 10 uh, this is 0 by 10 and this is 20 by 10 so this is nothing but 2 0 2 is the coordinate of this centroid okay next question next question so the, the equation of the plane who's passing the, the given <coughs> point a b c are not in the straight line there is a three point a b c this is as a a this is as a b this is as a c uh, this from a vector uh, this from a plane this from a plane and <coughs> there is a point r r is the any point this is the uh, and there is a their position vector is a vector the position vector b is b vector the position vector of c is c vector and the position vector of r is r vector okay so uh, for, for, for so so this uh, a uh, this vector that's mean mm, uh, this, this vector that's mean uh, ar vector if this is a, a point a so ar vector uh, is uh, and this is the br vector and this is the cr vector so if we product this b, uh, br vector with the cr vector you get the vector which are perpendicular to this plane and with this if i want to dot this ar vector uh, since these are the perpendicular this must be zero by using this formula you get this relation but i uh, i do not get this uh, relation at all if you anyone get this answer you must comment this uh, answer or the solution you must comment this solution if you got this <laughs> relation from the uh, uh, this solution okay next question the position vector of p and q is given by r1 r2 uh, determine the pq vector in terms of this see pq vector pq vector is nothing but position vector of q and position vector minus position vector of p that means this is the position vector of p vector this is the position vector of p vector and there is a position vector of q vector so what is the pq this vector this vector is this vector that is r2 minus this r1 so this will be r2 vector minus r1 vector if you put the value of r2 minus r1 r2 minus r1 r2 is nothing but 4 uh, minus 3 2 and r1 nothing but 2 uh, 3 minus 1 uh, 2 minus 2 is 2 minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6 2 minus 4 plus 1 that is 3 so the answer will be uh, 2i cap minus 6j cap plus 3 k cap the magnitude of the magnitude magnitude this magnitude is nothing but 2 square plus 6 square plus 3 square which is 7 okay next question suppose a vector equal to b vector equal to c vector is given then the find of 2 a vector minus b vector plus 3 c vector this is nothing but 2 a means 3 minus 1 minus 4 minus b means minus 2 4 minus 3 plus c means c means c means 1 2 minus 1 so this is nothing but uh, the uh, this is nothing but the 11 i cap minus 8 k cap you just uh, solve this you get this answer then the magnitude of a vector plus b vector plus c vector so you need to add these three if you add these three you get the three minus 2 plus 1 3 minus 2 plus 1 that is 2 i cap then minus 1 plus 4 minus 1 plus 4 that is plus 3 plus 2 that is 5 j cap minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 and minus minus 8 k cap this will be nothing but 2 square plus 5 square plus 8 square that is nothing but the root over 93 this is the root 93 and see what is the value of 3 a vector minus 2 b vector plus 4 c vector 
so 3 3 a a means 3 minus 1 minus 4 uh, minus 2 b means minus 2 4 minus 3 plus 4 c c means 1 2 minus 1 if you were to put this value you get the 79 cap minus 3 z cap minus 10 k cap and if you find out the value uh, of this modulus of this you get the value root under root under 17 square plus 3 square plus 10 square which is nothing but root over 398 okay so if you now want to find out the unit vector parallel to this vector unit vector unit vector nothing but this vector by the magnitude that is 3 a vector minus 2 b vector plus 4 c vector by its magnitude that is 3 x vector minus 2 b vector plus 4 c vector mod the magnitude of this is 2 to power 3 98 by 3 a vector minus 2 b vector plus 4 c vector okay so this will be the solution of this problem next question the following force act in a particle p is f1 is this p equal to this f3 equal to this f4 this four are given the resultant of the force resultant is nothing but resultant 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 force is nothing but f is f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 okay so if you want to add then this 2 3 minus 5 plus minus 5 1 3 plus 1 minus 2 4 plus 4 minus 3 minus 2 so this if you add this you get 2 minus 5 1 4 1 4 5 minus 5 this is 2 uh, 3 uh, 4 4 minus 2 2 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 5 3 minus 2 plus 4 plus 2 minus 2 0 so this is nothing but 2 i cap minus j cap this is the resultant force magnitude of the resultant magnitude 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 is nothing but root under square minus plus 1 square that is 4 plus 1 root 5 is the magnitude of this question answer so, so this is the solution of this question so thank you uh, this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with my uh, whatsapp or the telegram channel and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel and press this bell icon such that you can get the notification of the upcoming videos thank you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you